What's going on everybody? Welcome to GMI's World and what we're going to be talking about right now is the end of Madden 18 as far as the online gameplay modes go. Uh, EA has officially released that they're going to be cutting out uh, Mutt Champions. Um, the final week is going to be, what is that, the, uh, July 1st or something like that as they get prepared for... Um, as they get prepared for Madden 19. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some things right now that's going to help you guys understand the schedule of what they're trying to keep and make you guys, you know, like season five, you don't, don't expect any new, um, don't expect any new tokens or anything like that or a new amount of money or coins or whatever's going to be going on. Pretty much uh, the weekend of June 28th to July 1st is going to be the, the final week of Mutt Champions. So no more weekend league, a.k.a. Mutt Champions, after July 1st, okay? They're going to be closing that down. The NFL replays, there's no more after week 17. So Antonio Brown and J.J. Watt is the final time. The final power-up will be released June 8, 2018, that weekend right now. So that's very soon after that. That's the final power-up. They're going to have a new promo coming out. And that's going to be the final promo, I believe. And then the head-to-head -head series in the Mutt Squads, there'll be no Series 5 tokens. So what does, what does that mean? That means like this, right? Like whatever's left here, you're going to be able to still play all the modes except for Weekend League, a.k.a. Mutt Champions, after Ju uh, July 1st. But there's no Season 5. So these are going to stay the same way they are. So no matter what you do, you're only going to be able to get 300k. This is going to remain the same. This is the final one. There is no Series 5. There's nothing else going on after that, okay? So you can still play them, but th that's all you're going to be able to get. You're going to still be able to get the same uh, type of things. Um, as far as Mutt Draft and everything like that, that's going to still be the same situation that's going on. You're going to play however many games you get, and then you know you get, a, get however many coins, and you move on from there. Um, as far as the Mutt Squad situation, like I said... You guys can continue to build. A lot, what I see a lot of you guys are doing is you guys are realizing that, um, you know, it's late in the year and you're just trying to, like, buckle down and get John Madden coach or whatever like that. And for the questions that's been getting asked, like, yeah, Jemiah, what are you talking about as far as, you know, the head-to-head? -head, um, how do you get those um, those things for, you know, the John Madden coach? And how, why, why does it benefit us to play the squads and all that stuff like that? Let me just let you guys understand this. I stopped playing squads after... I got everything from Mutt Master because the, um, when they started to patch the game, a lot of things like, you know, lagging and a lot of different things within the game mode, as far as disconnects and stuff like that started to become, you know, very, very highly prevalent where it would happen regularly. Um, it didn't happen a lot to me, but what would happen is the lag, like the disconnects weren't my issue. It was the lag in some of the games. And I don't know if it was being caused by my teammates. Some of my teammates were getting knocked out of the game you know, because they're in other countries. It, it was weird. So I just stopped doing it. I just stopped playing Mutt Squads. But for a lot of you guys that are still playing it, um, you guys are looking for this John Madden coach. Now, does it make sense to finish this up? I don't know if there's a benefit to getting John Madden coach right now. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, unless you're just going to go on a wild rampage and just come out and just not care for the final month or just whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I don't really see the benefit for grinding for it. But this is what I was saying. The 25 silver tokens, for every 25 silver tokens, you get a tier 3 coach. And you need 32 tier 3 coaches to get this, you know, to get John Madden coach. So that's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, that's 25 times 32. Do the math. That's how many tokens you're going to have to get in order to get the John Madden coach. All right? So there's no additional rewards. There's no, like, season upgrades. There's none of that stuff going on. So you're going to have to make that decision about how you want to work it. They could have probably given you a way to, um, you know, b bolster, you know, getting a John Madden coach or something like that for the final month or something like that. But EA didn't want to go through that. They're going to give you guys a final promo and then, you know, cut off all the power-ups and stuff like that. So for everybody that's been using their cards, right, and they've been waiting for these power-ups and doing whatever, now is the time. Like, throughout the entire year, I've been telling you guys to be very, very careful with these power-ups, right? Because it doesn't make any sense, obviously, because you can't auction or trade them. But in Madden 19, I don't know if you guys seen the video about it. I told you guys you can now downgrade. So as you upgrade, uh, until you get to 100%, you could take the players out and get rid of them. So if you start to upgrade and the dude is just garbage, like when I started off with Barry uh, earlier in the year, the dude was just straight trash, you could go ahead and get rid of him um, and downgrade and see what's going on. So looking at this right here, what is this? Oh, they actually... Bro, they actually want you to put that that berry in the set. Yo, these dudes are hilarious, bro. They want to make you lose all those coins for the Elite Token Master. I completely forgot that they did this. That This is a useless power-up. But anyway, 
like I was saying, so you're not going to be looking to power up anything else, uh, but this weekend will be the final power up. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save whatever you wanted to power up and either sell, uh, sell it to get your coins so that you can be ready for the rookie premiere and start preparing your team for Madden 19. Okay, that's what you should be doing right now. All this power-up nonsense, it should be done right now. Like, you should be so done with the power-ups. It's been a full year of just getting straight EA'd and, you know, not auctionable, non tradable You guys should be satisfied now. Like, you should already have your fix as far as power-ups go. So, what you're going to do is you're going to keep those cards now, okay? And you're going to sell them. If you were going to power them up, because remember, you're losing it anyway. So, before they do the rookie premiere, you're going to want to get rid of those cards, see what's going on with the market, because the market is pretty bad right now. And a lot of um, cards are just being sold for nothing. Um, if you just go to the regular auction house and just look at the stuff that's there, you're going to be able to come across a lot of good cards, okay? So, getting rid of the cards that are decent right now is going to be an uphill battle, okay? You're going to want to make sure that you have a sufficient amount of coins that are ready for rookie premieres. So with every, all the information that you have and everything being died down, there's not going to be a lot of attention being paid to what's going on with Madden 18 because they're looking towards the launch, you know, for Madden 19. All right. So no power ups. Okay. Focus on getting rid of the cards. There's going to be no series upgrades. Okay. No series five. So you're going to be doing probably what I'm going to be doing. You're going to be playing seasons. And then throughout the seasons, you're going to try to get as many um, 300K packs as you can get. You see what I'm saying? Because that, that's pretty much what you should try to do right now. You should try to, while, while, while the game is dying out, play the seasons, get as many of those tokens as you can get, and then just complete the set and keep getting 300K. Because you're getting double the amount. Because I think each one sells for, it quick sells for like 1500 but then they give you 300k for, you know, for 100 of them, so you're getting double. So I would just do this, like the way I'm doing it right now with Seasons. You go into Seasons, and you just play a couple, and you keep doing that, and just get your coins up. Keep getting your coins up, keep getting your coins up. And then, well, as soon as they release the Rookie Premiere, you use all your coins. Because that's when you cash out. You're going to cash out right now, bro. The, the year is over. You know, get it through your head. Whatever you, whatever you got to get done, it's over. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you guys enjoyed Mutt Squads. You know what I'm saying? It's all over. Okay, if you want to feel good about yourself and you want to get um, whatever it is, you want to get, um, you know, John Madden coach, you know, hook up with a couple friends, play a little bit of, uh, you know, Mud Squad, see what you can do. But it's 25 times 32. Do that math, bro. It's over 600. That's all I know. Like, I'm not going to keep, keep doing the math afterwards. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting you guys understand. That's the issue about what's going on. And I haven't even played this since they upgraded it to where you could do seasons and all that stuff. I didn't even get involved with it. But I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys were able to get a lot, you know, out of what was going on with it. But I'm pretty much done with all that. Okay? So that's pretty much going to be our focus. We're going to want to make sure that those things, are, you know, we, we know that July 1st ends this. So you guys, if you never got to be, you know, the elite that you wanted to be or whatever it was, now's your chance. You know what I'm saying? What, whatever, whatever, whatever you're going to need to do. You, what is this? I'm not, I'm not doing no knockout. I'm already qualified. Whatever, whatever you're going to need to do to, um, you know, achieve whatever you wanted in Madden 18, you got like, I guess you got a month. You got a month to do it. And all in all, everything is leading up to, um, you know, the launch of Madden 19 and to start, you know, dying out with the game. And I'm going to just go ahead and reiterate it with the NFL replays, this set right here with the voucher exchange, like I just told you, this was the final week of NFL replays. So if you're missing one of the loyalty vouchers, you can't do anything. You're not getting another one. EA has confirmed you are not getting any more. So whatever amount of loyalty vouchers that you have, you are done. Okay? That's over. There's no need to keep asking about it. There's no Yo, bro, listen. I told you guys when it first came out, when I was showing you guys the loyalty vouchers, I got my 17 I got my trash golden ticket nat pack. You know what I'm saying? They gave me Rondé Barber for my full legend. They completely did me dirty. It's fine. I grinded it out. I got it done. A lot of you guys that watch, you were able to get Deion Sanders and other, you know, sick legends. That's what the purpose of it was. For you guys to have some enjoyment with it. So you guys were able to get that. That's 100% what the objective is. Is to make sure that you guys get something out of the video. So if your pack luck is good, you're all set. 
Okay, but that, I just want to make sure you guys understand. Week 17, final thing, no more loyalty vouchers, nothing like that's going on. There will not be a season five, all right? So don't ask about season five, bro. Like EA Sports already told you, bro, you're done. Season four, I told you, you're going to go over to seasons. If you if you like have that, that Madden bug like I have, like you got to play Madden even though you know that it makes you rage, you're going to keep getting as many of these tokens as you can. I don't know how many more I need. I probably, okay, let me see, what is that, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then plus the 4, so I need 59, I need 59 more, alright, and I only played one season, I think, and then I got some of the weekend league rewards that added to it, so, you know, pretty much, you're just gonna play it, try to get through your seasons, get as many as these as you can, because you could obviously, if you're a Madden first string, they give you a decent amount, so I think like with every three seasons, Every three se every three full seasons you play, you could you could probably get 300k plus all the coins you get uh, during the time that you're playing it uh, with first string all matter, which I am. So it's a lot easier to fill that up. All right, mud squads, same thing. They give you an option to um, to get a hundred of these with your tokens. If you if you're in the seasons and you're high level and you enjoy mud squads, keep doing that to get these or use your silver tokens to try to get John Madden coach. Whichever way you got, but there'll be no updates to it. And everybody at EA Sports is looking forward to the launch of Madden 19. So I want to know what you guys are thinking about it. Are you guys excited for Madden 19? It's so close. You know what I'm saying? EA Play is like a day away. It's going to be very, very exciting what's coming out with the new features. So let me know. Drop me a line. Let me know what's going on. And I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love.